This is a revision of my modded PC that I called Classified Life. It's an x58 chipset with an Intel processor, 12 gigs of Kingston RAM, HyperX, and basically the revision mostly includes uh, I guess you could say some some more hard drives, but most of it's water cooling and uh, graphics card update, etc. Um, it has the X58 now. The 680 just came out last week, but I'm going to wait for the 685 before you go jumping crazy and do anything else. And then I would like to thank all these, these uh, different sites and people that helped me along the way. We got EVGA. You cannot beat EVGA. A lot of people like other brands. You call these people any time of day, any time of night. They answer your questions. They back beat. They stand behind their products, etc. We have Newegg. Can't go wrong at Newegg. Cop USA for all your basic necessities. We have uh, Amazon.com. Also a great place. Great support. Frozen CPU can't say enough about them either Call them anytime ask them a question. They will help you out. These people are based almost locally right out of uh, Palm Palm Bay, Florida Great people if you really need to you can go down there and order it and pick it up directly from them in emergency situations Or if you just need some great sleeving Modifications that maybe you think you can't do on your own these people have pretty much anything you might need this guy here, his name is Eric, he uh, is a former vet. He uh, runs this off eBay. A lot of people say, ooh, eBay, I wouldn't buy anything on eBay. I tell you what, this guy helped me the most out of anybody on any of these sites. All these sites are excellent that I'm about to show you, but Eric, A1 service, cannot beat him. Um, right here, we got Ice Dragon Cooling. Probably came out about two or three months ago. It's a new fluid that they've been, you know, using in, I guess somebody from NASA designed it. It's a nanotechnology, which I thought was really cool. And I figured if you're going to do your cooling right, you might as well use Ice Dragon Cooling because why do it a second time? Uh, Sidewinder, another great company. Call them anytime. They'll, they'll pretty much tell you if you need, you know, any questions about water cooling or what parts. Great little parts, just like hose cutters where, you know, most people they sell not to really down Danger Den, but that little hose cutter is, I don't really like it, but uh, they, they sell some great stuff here. That's where I got the hose cutter and my Bits Power fittings, which I actually don't have up here because I got not enough room on this 42 inch monitor here. Um, X Oxide located right here in Jupiter. Also great company. Get your stuff there really quick. If you have a kind of a big order, they'll let you also pick it up right there in the store. Um, Kingston, always great RAM, never really had a problem. Some people say Corsair, but some people have overheating issues with that. Uh, never had a defect with Kingston. Intel, of course. Um, I wish AMD, you know, years ago I used AMD. I swore by them, but, you know, for the price, AMD is really good, but Intel really has definitely got the margin on any uh, chip right now on the market. You just, you can't beat it, hands down. Lower quality Intel still beats a higher quality AMD. We need competition, AMD. We need you to get back on your feet. All right, um, right here we got Bits Phoenix. They do a lot of uh, great products, lighting, cases, etc. Here's actually a bottle of that icy cooling um, fluid by Ice Dragon. Maybe I shouldn't say icy, but it's Ice Dragon, but it keeps your stuff nice and icy. And that's about it. And I'm going to step back for a farther look on this classified life PC that you can kind of see on the corner but I really don't want to get into that yet um, yes that's a G15 keyboard kind of older but works very well for gaming um, down there below you got a this new recon going into a creative labs fatality x -Fi sound device um, kind of gives it more of a 3d edge and if you really want to you can take it over to your Xbox but you know who wants to look at those graphics um, gives you like a 3d surround you know thx dolby digital scout mode so you can hear footprints i don't really use it but it's an option um i also use these clips 2.1 you know even though i'm in a fairly big room that's all you really need for some good sound 
mostly for music. All right, so we're stepping over here to the Half 93 Cooler Master case, which I still like better than the Half X. It's not as big. Um, you can fit everything in there that you need as long as you know you have time and patience. There's no problem with radiators. Here's kind of like a tall shot of the front of it. That's a reservoir by XSPC, um, which you can add your own pump. Pricey little things those pumps are. I use a Cooler Master pump, which is pretty much just a DC pump. Um, and I actually got this extension where it goes actually to the fill port so you can actually fill it from the top and not have to slide out your reservoir. You know, kind of one shot deal. You know, way, way easier than messing around with other ways of doing things the hard way. Um, I don't really have the back open there, but there's, you know, a mess of wires in there. Yeah, it's neat, but it's all compact behind the motherboard so you don't see any of the mess. Uh, up here I got a fan controller that actually you can use as a pump controller so the far left is a pump controller uh, from the fan controller which they're just pots which is basically like a, a dial with resistance to control the voltage um, I can turn down every section from the front to the back to the rear to the radiator fans to I even have the heat sensor on channel 2 for the ultra power supply I guess you will void your warranty when you do things like that but it's you know ultra's pretty solid products i've never i've had mine for like two years now and haven't had one problem with that figured might as well mod i put a bits phoenix fan in there um the new pro series runs really good now i can control it and see what temp that psu is running uh, now i'm gonna step over to here right now i got the white light running on it uh this is basically an option with the half you can get this side panel with the uh with the you know the window which you know if you don't feel like modding your own it's a great option um, I might do a second one where I take the old one and make a bigger window and just have basically all window and no metal at all as possible but that's for a later day as I always say these PCs are usually just 99% done because there's always some percent that you feel like you need to upgrade and you probably don't but you do anyways just for the hell of it um, more bits Phoenix fans here we got a a 140 in the back yes that's a pro and then up top here I've got a um, the XS PC RS 360 rad with more bits Phoenix um, fans they're kind of like the sickle flows that cooler master uses but this is their you know own version I guess you could say of it run really quiet um, great static air pressure didn't feel like going with synth uh, the synth are supposed to be really good but really kind of you know louder and yeah, I don't know they just don't appeal to me in looks those fans are really quiet there um, yeah like I said it's only a i7 920 but I got the new uh, Coolance 360 on there actually excuse me 370 360 was uh, the reversion a couple years ago they just updated this as a 370 it even works with the newest Intel chipset um, that was just released. Uh, all my fittings are Bits Phoenix. Um, actually, I'm sorry, Bits Power fittings. And now you move down to the 580 um, GTX. What a difference it is when you just remove that ugly air cooler. Which yeah, works difference. Works you know pretty pretty decent, but. Uh, very ugly and kind of noisy you know and I, I'm trying to get no noise and no heat most of the time this is running at uh, 26 C at idle right now it's running at 28 I have other programs running in the background which is still very good um, down here this is my ultra thousand watt like I said I never had a problem with it it's a modular which is excellent because as you can see if you kind of glance around the only really wires you see coming are to the graphics card and that's what makes cable management and a great case excellent for this type of mod um, you can see there those are the bits power fittings as I was talking about um, half inch di diameter uh, three-fourth outer and half inch inner I should say those are fesser tubings and that's not the dragon cooling you're actually seeing the tubes are actually white um, if you go around the corner here kind of see behind the drive I got this cool ants T uh, comes down into one of their ball valves 
and kind of goes right off the back. You know, I, I saw so many videos of people just taking off a hose and, you know, praying they got it all in a bowl. I was like, you know what, if you're going to water cool, you might as well do it once right. You know, maybe, of course, down the road you might change a little things, but at least when you need to, you just go right off the back, lean it to the side, or add an adapter hose that I have that you can just pour it right into a bucket. And then if you basically go to the top of the case, you could probably cut out this little thing, but I figured it'd be ugly. Right there is the fill port. You know, most people don't get to use it. Either the drives are in the way, um, but I decided you have to. I mean, you, it's there. You might as well use it. Make it easy, simple, clean. Uh, I'll just pop that back on here. As you can see here is the RS360 um, Reversion 2 radiator. And if you look really close in here, but you know, you try to hide everything you can. There's a little temperature sensor so I can see the, you know, just basically the air that's leaving. Um, here is kind of like a mod, nothing fancy. It's like a vinyl here. Basically, when you put the lights up there, it leaves this sticky glue. And the, the glue on it isn't really that good, 3M tape. Um, so I changed that out. Plus, you can see it from the top. So I figured, you know, you might as well just put like a little piece of black vinyl and call it a day. I'm back here. I actually have, besides the wires going down the back, is these little kind of hidden switches on the unused power supply top spot. So if I basically if I, I turn that off, you get a uh, no light whatsoever, other than the red lights in. Basically, you could say the uh, PC itself and the fans, all the LEDs there. So even then, you know, it looks fine like that, but, you know, you don't want the extra step. I almost figured, you know, it would be like a service light, help you out, you know, late at night. You don't have a light, so if I switch that on like we saw before, white, common sense, white light. So next, we move, we turn that off, we move over to the other switch, and it's kind of like a blue... UV switch, which symbolizes guess what? UV. So now you go and you kind of got like the black light effect without all the heat and the cold cathodes, you know, tend to break and they're really kind of flimsy and cheap. But um, those are some great UV lights like that. The other ones are Bits Phoenix, the white. If you want, you could run them both, you know, it kind of gives it like a UV purple effect plus having the white light. Um, I got a synth uh, fan controller here, like I was talking about before, which you can use for the pumps. USB you know, ports, not really using it too much. Um, in addition to this reservoir that you add your own pump to, this is actually an Asus or an Asus um, new Blu-ray player. It just came out probably within a month or two ago. I, I had to black it out. I, I'm so against the company. They did a terrific job on this Blu-ray drive. I give them that. I've really had no problems with it. Um, it doesn't come with the software, but you know, nothing really does anymore. Uh, like I said, it's the half case. If you really want to, you can just kind of yank that off. And there's a company on uh, both sites, Frozen uh, PC, or actually Frozen CPU and PC Performance Cooling. They sell a kit. It's like $60, but you just pull this right here out and it's magnetized and it's like this little filter job that you can, you know, just take off and clean, wash, however you need. Um, there's a lot of mods you can also find probably also where you build them yourself, but I figured I'd just do it and make it easy. And that's about it. That's uh, my classified life modded computer. Um, like I said before, it's a uh, classified motherboard. Uh, it's the Series 759, uh, like i7-920, 12 gigs of RAM, almost 16 terabytes of memory for all your photo and video needs um, and backing up. Um, that's the bottle of the IC Dragon. If you're starting your system and you decide you want to use you know, smaller hoses than I, I probably, you know, dropped probably like two to three degrees just by using that fluid and by using thicker tubing. But even with smaller tubing on a smaller system, um, that fluid is excellent. Um, even you can look up Daz mods on YouTube and he, he talks about it. He actually sells it there too. So does um, Ice Dragon Cooling directly. 
and so does frozencpu.com and pcperformancecooling.com. Um, that's about all I have to say. I'm just kind of getting a little tongue tired. First video on YouTube of Reversion 2 of Classified Life Water Cooled. Thanks.